Tonight I'm going to shoot a deep space nebula through some forest fire smoke. No, I know what you're saying. What a newbie thing to do. But it's been actually a few weeks because the forest fire smoke has kind of come into my area. And even though these nights are supposed to be clear, nope, uh, I have orange kind of skies at night and there's just like this light layer of, it's not cloud, but smoke. And it's the transparency is terrible. I can only see the brightest stars in the area. But out of desperation, I'm gonna try and shoot through forest fire smoke to see if I can get something. Now, since I can see some of the brighter stars, I'm hoping with exposure time, I'm able to get a photo. And maybe if I select a bright target, maybe I can get it to happen, right? And I think with the power of F2 that I have on Hyperstar, and I'm not really sure if I should shoot with shorter exposures or if I should shoot with longer exposures because it's so faint, right? I guess we'll find out. This is gonna be a nice experiment. And those of you that have done this before, cause don't lie to me guys. I know that at least a handful of you have done this out of desperation. Put your stories down in the comments so I can read through them because I'm really interested in the results that you guys have gotten. Well, I guess the thing that we need to do now is actually select a target. So let's do that. All right, I think we found our target for the night. Wait, did that rhyme? Oh well. <laughs> Before we get into it though, check this out. See Taco over there? I am never getting my couch back, ever. <laughs> so our target for this evening is IC1805 or the Heart Nebula. Now I've captured the Heart Nebula in the past and I think the last time I captured it was 2021 and it's about time that I get a better photo of it. Although thinking about it now, tonight is probably not a great night to do something like that, but we're gonna do it anyways. So let's check out the Heart Nebula. The Heart Nebula is an emission nebula 7,500 light years away from Earth and located in the Perseus arm of our galaxy. It's kind of cool when you think about it, right? And we're still kind of in our Milky Way tour. We're just in the other section of the Milky Way right now, so I think it counts. It is 100 light years in radius. So it takes up a very large portion of our night sky. So think about that. 200 light years in diameter. That's pretty darn big. And I'm probably going, probably, I am going to be shooting this in 47 megapixel mode. Cause I'm not sure if I'm going to make some crop ins, right? If I get enough usable data, I probably will crop in. And I'm, what I'm hoping for is maybe a crop in here of the Fish Head Nebula, and then also Merlot 15. Now, if you don't know what Merlot 15 is, it's just a super radioactive area in the Heart Nebula. And it just so happens it's right in the center, right in here. And it's got some cool shapes to it. And just south of it here are these cool little heart spires, which I actually took a picture of that last year when I got my SCT, which turned out pretty darn cool. Here's how we're gonna frame it up, I think. And it fills the frame within Hyperstar really darn well. I just haven't decided whether I'm going to go with shorter exposures because I don't know if the smoke's gonna contribute to the light pollution out here or longer exposures because the transparency is making this nebula a little bit faint. So I guess we'll see when we get out there. But right now we got our game plan, we got our target. The next thing we gotta do is just mount up.
<laughs> you know, I often wonder if Trevor and Ashley ever get to watch my videos. I wonder if they'll just sit back and be like, what the heck is going on this guy's channel? It's actually 10 o'clock right now, and if you hear beeping in the background, that is my scope auto-focusing right now. <laughs> there's, you know, when I got out here, there's just this really, I don't know, it's like a orange filter over everything, you know what I mean? Because it's been so smoky, but I can see stars. So I don't know how much quality data I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna try. And to my surprise, there isn't just two cranes here. Remember, there's always been two cranes. There's actually three. Uh, I don't know if I can beam it with my spot and my headlamp, but check it out real quick, all right? All right, so I'm pointed at these cranes. Okay, let me, let me see if I can beam it. And maybe turn up the exposure real quick. Oh, there it is right there. Do you see it? One, two, three. Three cranes now instead of two. Isn't that crazy? And look how bright this <laughs> headlamp is. Dear Lord. All right, guys, I got some subs coming back for you. This is some HA action on the Heart Nebula. You know, it just occurred to me that I am shooting the Heart Nebula a little bit out of season. You know, it's still technically summer. And here I am shooting a fall target. <laughs> Low on the horizon, actually. But at least we're having fun, right? So here is the Heart Nebula. And this is three minutes at F2. Man, this thing is really faint. I, I feel like I should be getting more signal on this, but I think it's just because of the smoke in the sky. It's like I was talking about earlier. It, it's like a orange filter is over the sky right now, but I'm getting signal. So as long as I'm getting signal like this, I should be able to make a, make a photo, right? So we're going to try it throughout the night so i got three minutes i'm going to take 15 three minute subs in each filter and by the time i'm done you know what actually you know what i saw in the middle of the night a couple nights ago was orion is in the sky if i'm up late enough like if i'm still out here i'm gonna actually start shooting stuff in orion and you know it's because Every time winter comes around, I don't really have imaging nights. You know what I mean? Because it just clouds over. So I'm really thinking about staying up and shooting some uh, Orion. Holy moly, guys. Look at this. Got clouds in the sky right now. It's just past 12 o'clock, midnight. And I think I'm about to get swallowed up right now. Uh, they're not around my target, but I don't know how long I'll have. So I'm just gonna gather as much S2 data since I just switched to S2 as I can. Hyperstar, don't fail me now. <laughs> Definitely still clear where I'm shooting over here. But I'm not really sure how long because check it out if I tilt the camera this way look at that my goodness that is what astrophotographers do not want to see in their imaging night all right totally clouding over right now I'm checking clear outside it said at midnight this would be 53%. My sky is 53% obscure. So I'm pretty sure my imaging night is over. I'm going to image until pretty much my subs get really soft. And then I'm going to pack it in. No Orion tonight, unfortunately. But I got to image. And I started at like, I got her at 9. I could actually start imaging at 9.30 right now. 
because we're losing light. Which is sad, but also handy at the same time for astrophotographers. I just don't know if I'm gonna have a great winter with no clouds or whatnot, but. Oh, it's definitely covered my target. Check it out. That is, that is covered. Oh gosh. And that means I have nine minutes of exposure time on S2. Great. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see what this looks like. Welcome back. Well, how did we do? Honestly, I actually didn't do too bad. Let's take a look at it real quick. All right, so here is the Heart Nebula. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I really didn't do too bad here. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. I got the Fish Head Nebula here just like I wanted. Merlot 15 from this view here is pretty detailed, right? And I did make a few crops actually, so let's take a look at them. So here is the fish head nebula up close. And you see I got the dark nebula up in here and also a lot of the structure as well. I mean, it looks pretty cool. My collimation is a little bit off, but it's not gonna be the last time that I shoot this object. That was Taco's auto feeder. <laughs> As I was saying, this isn't gonna be the last time I'll be shooting this object. I, I just kind of dig this, and since I shot it through a layer of smoke, I mean, I'm probably gonna be taking this over again anyway, so. Anyways, I also got Merlot 15, and here it is, 45 megapixels, and honestly, it actually has a lot of detail, especially in the dark nebula right here. I mean, that's pretty darn awesome. For a 400% crop in, I mean, this is great, right? So I think definitely I'll be wanting to get the heart nebula, this area, probably with my SCT, so I can get a little bit better definition here, but I actually don't think this turned out too bad, especially shooting through a layer of orange smoke. We got to image. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and when you're desperate, you can go out and shoot through smoky skies. Well, I guess this answers our question, doesn't it? You can, in fact, shoot through a layer of smoke, orange smoke at that. And honestly, what I'm curious about now is if I reshoot the Heart Nebula on a clear night, I wonder what these details will look like then on Hyperstar. Well, I guess that's a video for another time, but I guess I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace. <laughs>